Justin, now it's your turn, buddy. Well, how's it going everyone? How's it going? I am here. Yes, I am. And, uh, okay, all of you have been bugging me for updates. And like I explained in the last video, there are no updates at the moment because I haven't been able to do anything yet. Um, I already did the tour of the inside of the van. You can go back a few videos and see that. Uh, nothing really has changed except the oh, trim upholstery and the curtains because I haven't had time to do anything. And I threw some, I, I quickly threw some LED bulbs in all the fixtures until I get my real custom LED lighting installed. I hate camper uh, light fixtures. They're ugly as sin. So uh, I'm putting in, of course, my custom lighting like I did in the last couple of RVs. That's coming soon. Now, I've got everything in boxes. I've got uh, uh, the, the, the wood stove and... Um, all sorts of other goodies, which I'm not going to tell you yet, uh, are sitting in boxes. Uh, in the meantime, um, the outside. A lot of you are asking about the purple job done. Okay, it is a wrap. As I said in my last video, it was done by an awesome company here in Port Coquitlam called 37 Wraps. Check them out. I'll link it below in the description. Uh, Scott, um, he is amazing. And he did this all himself in uh, a few days uh, working late into the night I came and watched him while he did it and I started doing some work on the inside uh, to get it ready for the taboo not even nice sex show which I do every year and my vehicle is part of that show so we had to get the wrap done real quick now originally when I bought this van I had all sorts of plans uh, including removing all these windows and I it's a little bit wet because I just I just washed the vehicle so it's drying off in the Sun right now uh, and I even contacted a marine place locally and uh, had a quote done and they were going to take out the windows and fiberglass them in because, as you know, I hate windows. Now, if it could go back 20 years when they made these islanders, you could delete windows. I've seen a lot of them with no windows on the side or some of them just have the little tiny windows. Um, but I can't go back in time. So anyways, it, uh, I guess it was a blessing in disguise because some other ideas now come to mind uh, which are going to involve keeping the windows. Um, and of course, I don't want to have to remove the windows, have the fiberglass job done, and then have to rewrap the vehicle again. All right, so we're not going to do that. Uh, those top windows above the bunk are useless because they're inside the cabinets. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do with those very soon. The top large sliding windows, uh, I've got some really nice co uh, covers coming from them soon. And wait till you see what I'm going to do with the big window. No, I'm not going to do the security screens like you saw on the last RV. Uh, all of you got to get out of your head that I'm going to do the same things over and over. Each time I buy a new vehicle, it's so I can do brand new stuff, not to repeat the same things again. So I'm going to do something completely different. Now, there's going to be some things which I do which are similar. Like, for instance, as you can see, I now have solar panels on the roof. I just did those yesterday and hooked it up today because finally it's beautiful out and I happen to have a day off at the same time. So it only took an hour to put those up. It's just I was waiting for the right time to do it. And it's charging beautifully. I got a new black fridge vent up there instead of the ugly white. Um, I got the louvers on the windows of course. Put lots of stickers on it. You know wrapping cars is a huge business nowadays. A lot of people are preferring it over paint. It lasts just as long if not longer as paint. But one thing that always gets me is why do people wrap their cars boring colors almost I would say 90% of the wrap jobs you see on the road are matte black and uh, matte white and matte gray. Like, come on, add a little color to your life. So when I brought this into the shop to get her done, boy, was he ever excited to be able to work with a real color for a change. He's telling me about how people buy these $60,000, $70,000 pickup trucks and SUVs, like black trucks, and they bring it to him to spend five grand just to change it from shiny black to matte black or from shiny white to matte white. People spend thousands of dollars just to change the texture of the uh, 
the paint on their vehicle basically and I'm like well if you're gonna spend that kind of money for a wrap completely change the color be original maybe get one of those camo wraps or something with a cool pattern they even have chrome wraps if you want but by far and and, and large the the matte wraps are the most popular matte is very popular I think it looks awesome it makes things like chrome bumpers just pop out and windows and things like that and um, a lot of people like the matte look uh, so much so that some car manufacturers are now offering matte as a standard choice from the factory if you want to have a matte car right off the lot so in my case I decided okay obviously I'm gonna do color and it's gonna be purple knowing me but I don't want just matte so this is actually the matte metallic wrap and so it's got a nice little shine to it it's just right and the other nice advantage of matte is it doesn't show little scratches, fingerprints, things like that. It's so easy to maintain. If there's ever a spot that needs to be repaired, you just repair that section uh, a lot easier than paint. It will easily last five, five years plus, seven years or so if you take care of it before any fading. Uh, but that's the same as a, as a paint job. You'll spend thousands of dollars on a paint job as well. Um, but the other beauty is, well, with the wrap, you can always take it off. It's white again underneath. It protects the actual original paint underneath. Matte metallic. It's definitely not straight matte, and it's definitely not boring and gray or black <laughs> like everyone else. Uh-huh. What a great job he did, though. It looks fantastic. See, after five, six, seven years, any uh, paint job out there will start fading, and a lot of um, wraps will start fading around the same time if they're glossy. Uh, that's why a lot of people don't do the glossy wraps, I think, too. Not just for styling purposes, but also for long longevity. It'll last longer. And um, you don't have to worry about it fading because it's already matte. Uh, so, yeah, I, I just can't believe how good it came out. It just looks fantastic. And I've seen a lot of matte um, RVs, matte wrapped RVs, uh, matte wrapped vans out there as well, custom vans. But again, they're almost always black or something like that. So, not me. Of course, I'm not going to be like everyone else, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. The whole theme of the van is going to be less RV, more custom van. Not for stealth reasons or anything like that, as you know, it doesn't. This is actually really stealth because everywhere I go, people are honking, high fiving, and wanting pictures of the van. That's the best possible stealth if you're camping in it because nobody complains about it. They just like it and they love to see it. So it's. It works great. Having a purple van, man, the only thing is people knocking on the doors asking to see inside too. That's about it. I'm gonna continue the theme to make it less motorhome, more custom van. That means things like removing the ugly as sin awning that was on the side. As you can see, it's just taped up right now where the awning was. Uh, Scott is going to rewrap that section uh, where the awning was. It's just white underneath, the white fiberglass. And, um, I'm probably not going to replace the awning, at least if I am, it's not going to be a big long one like that. Also, you hit your head on it going in and out of the door all the time, I didn't like that. Some of the islanders put the awning above the window, that's an option. However, I'm, I'm not too worried about it. Once you throw an awning on it, it suddenly looks like an RV, unless it's a very stealth awning. I have some things in mind, we'll see, come this summer. We'll see if I even need it. Um, the side there, uh, where the lettering is, uh, obviously that's not going to stay there. Um, there's actually going to be an entertainment center built into the sidewall there for outdoor fun in the summertime. I now have a warning label too, just in case any of you uh, try to get a free ride for me. It ain't going to happen, okay? See, that's very custom van-like, having stickers like that. So I'm going to do the whole vehicle with stuff like that. Yeah, let's be honest. It might suck gas, but it sure hauls ass. Anyways, I hope you're all doing well, guys. Keep on rocking in the free world. Stay tuned. I got lots more to come. Click that subscribe button below and make van life great again. Also available on Facebook and Instagram at Just Incredible TV.